Good evening, Francisco. Hey, good evening, teacher. Hey, How hey, are hey. you? Hey, Francisco, you didn't show up yesterday. What happened to you? Uh, um, yesterday, uh, you know, I live in London, Lourdes, Colón. Uh, traffic um, yesterday collapsed. Entonces, eh, vine a las 9.45 a.m. Oh. un accidente, entonces, imposible. I'm that sorry. was impossible. Okay, so, so it's all right. Okay, um, you know, if you face like some problems when commuting or coming back from home and, you know, there is somebody else driving in the car, you know, you can you can connect through through the cell phone also, right? Mm. Yeah, but, okay. but, you know, you shouldn't do so while driving. Okay, that's a big mistake, you know. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm I'm asking because yesterday people remembered a lot, a lot about you. Huh? Yeah. If you see the video about yesterday's class, you will see that people were saying, "Hey, where is Paco? Paco is like <laughs> this. Paco is like that." They were talking about you yesterday. Yeah. Really. Ah, wow, really nice. <laughs> <laughs> And I and I didn't remember. I mean, I, it's because I call you like Francisco, right? And then I I started thinking about who's Paco, <laughs> and then, well, I I I figured out that you were the famous Paco in the group. <laughs> okay, I'm cool. About, you know what? But people were saying that you are a very mysterious. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah, I, I don't know why, but but they they. They told everybody over here that you are very mysterious, that you are very, uh, I don't know if they mentioned you, you are quiet. Uh, uh, I don't know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> okay, welcome back, everybody. Adriana, hello, Gretel. Hello. Hi, good evening. Good evening, Andrea Esmeralda. Good evening, hello, Ileana. Hello, good Jonathan. Evening. Uh, well, actually, no. Jonathan was very popular yesterday. People, would, many people were talking about Jonathan also, right? Hello, Mayra. Hello, good evening. Good evening, Jennifer. Hello, Jennifer. Good evening. Okay, good evening. Well, today we have... Uh, yesterday, we decided to have some review, Francisco. You know, next week's going to be the last week for this level of English. Okay, pre-intermediate level of English, right? This, this is, well, you are going to move on to the intermediate level of English, right? Actually, I think you have, uh, you are ready to, to move on, right? But uh, as far as I remember, we said that today we we are in church of having some review on regular verbs and the way they are pronounced in the simple past form. Is that right? Regular verb and simple past. Yeah. So we're going to focus, uh, focus our effort at the beginning of the class to do so. Okay. And remember, everybody has to be uh, ready with the information. I hope that you investigated, that you have some review on it, and now you are more than, uh, than able to explain the information you got. Uh, but but Francisco, right? Because Francisco was not in the class yesterday. He didn't know about the activity for tonight. But the rest of the people, I think you, you got some info about it, okay? Now, I will ask for a volunteer to start with the topic. Me, teacher. Okay, thank you, Adriana. Go ahead. Please activate your, your uh, microphone. Yes, yes. And um, I am talking about the video three point one. No, no, uh, no, Adriana. Right now, we're gonna go over the the transition of regular verbs. Ah, okay. Yeah. Are you ready with that info? Yes, yes. 
Ah, okay. So help us with it, please. Okay. Uh, as far as I understand, the the rules are a basis, a final, a final sum according the verse and on the end the infinity. Uh, the first rule, uh, if the verb and the end dt, the pronunciation that d, no, ed at the end. For example, a state, a hate, as, and died. And Sigo. Please, please. Okay. The second, when the some are um, the final song, uh, C, P, P, um, M, C, K, X, F, S, uh, the final song that T. For example, a stop, word, and miss. And this, the third rule, um, uh, only. All right. Only. Thank you. Thank, actually, you provided a really nice thing for Adriana. Adriana, do you need some more help? With the topic? Mm, repeat again. Do, do you need somebody else um, oh. to help you with the presentation? Uh, Ileana. Ah, okay, Ileana. Uh, good evening. Well, good evening. what I found is that, as Ileana said, that uh, the verbs that end with a vowel sound. I mean, it has to be, a, I understood that it had to be, it has to be a vowel sound, no, no, no written, right? A vowel sound, uh, you, the, the pronunciation at the end of the verb is going to be with D, like cold, uh, cleaned, um, offered, <clears throat> and with a consonant like a P and K, a, the pronunciation is going to be at the end of the verb with T, like helped, um, kissed, danced, and with uh, the pronunciation at the end ends with ed, it's because the verb ends with T or D, for example, want, and the past is going to be wanted. Um, also, need, it ends with D, so the pronunciation uh, in the past is going to be, it is going to be needed. And that's all. Fantastic. Quite good. Now, uh, well, I don't know if there is somebody else who wants to provide further info or maybe the same info, but by providing some other examples, maybe. Who got ready with that topic? No more people? Okay, so if you see in the chat, well, if you see in the chat, I typed like some some verbs and I typed like like keywords, right? So that we can we can automatic automatically know about the pronunciation of the regular verb in the past form. For example, somebody told us like Ileana and the other lady, who was the one who presented at the beginning? That was Adriana, right? Okay, they told us that if the verb uh, ends with T or with T, 
the pronunciation will be id. And they said, or they mentioned some examples. And I, I typed the verb add and the verb accept. Both and with, with, with different vowels, with different consonants, right? The first one with a D and the next one with that T. So the pronunciation automatically, I know that the pronunciation is it, a, deal, except deal. All right? That is like the first rule, right? And I think this is the easiest way to get the pronunciation of a regular bear. Now, in the second part, we have voiceless sounds. I hope that you are just seeing the information in the chat because I provided only like just just a few examples. Actually, Ileana provided a lot of examples of, of verbs, but I included only one. I think this is very a uh, very common a very common verb. Voiceless. What do I mean by voiceless? How do you pronounce the vo the, the, the the verb that I type over here? What is the verb, people? <laughs> Sorry. Okay, I will type it in the chat. Look at the chat. What is the pronunciation of this verb? Of this verb? Offer. No, I, I mean this one, the last one. Wash. Okay, wash. Now, wash, what is the last sound of the, of the verb? Is, is, um, yeah, can, can you reproduce the sound? Oh, teacher. Wash. Wash. The pronunciation wash. is T at the end, washed. Uh, but, but how do you know it's T, Glendy? And, and, and also, why do you why do you know it's T in 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 not another sound? Washed. Teacher, uh, he is because he, uh, there's no vibration in your throat. Oh, all right. Now, yes. like if you if you if you uh, do it with I mean if you pronounce the last part of the verb, then you will notice that. There is no vibration wash. in your vocal cords, right? Like the way David is saying. They say wash. And then you touch your vocal cords or your part, your part of, the, of your throat over here that you will notice that there is no vibration there. So if you got that, if you, if you know that the, that the sound is voiceless because that is a voiceless sound, then you you already know that the the path the path form of the verb is pronounced with a t sound. Then you pronounce it like washed. On the other hand, we have voiced sounds like how do you pronounce this verb? How do you pronounce the last verb in the chat? Clean. 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 Yeah. If you're yeah, the end. I mean, yeah, look, pay special attention at the end of the verb. I mean, the, uh, on the pronunciation at the end of the verb. Clean, on the other hand, if you touch your, your throat, you will notice that your vocal cords vibrate. Clean. Okay, do it. <laughs> and then you will notice that, well, you automatically know that the, the pronunciation of that very in the simple part form is like with D, cleaned. Okay, I hope that you get a list of regular verbs and you start practicing the pronunciation of those verbs in the past form. Okay, so. This is like a homework, right? Try to get a list of verbs, regular verbs, and start uh, practicing uh, the pronunciation in the past form. That's what I want you to do, people. Okay? Now, let's start with, the, with our <clears throat> activity. I will share information about 
<clears throat> the section number three, sorry. And what is the activity all about for tonight, people? Who remembers? We have to, to teach the class to our classmates. We are gonna watch the videos, all the videos, or as many as we can, so that we can have some review. I have already explained the information, right? And I told you to study the information by your own, because you are going to provide uh, some, I mean, some explanation about it. And uh, for example, over here we have a conversation. What are you gonna do with the conversation? You are just you are you are going to read only. If I if you are chosen, the only thing you have to do is to read the information about the conversation, because in that way I will notice that you have been practicing the information in every single video. Okay. Okay, I think Ileana was the last person who participated in the class. Ileana, I'm sorry, should... I have internet problems. <laughs> okay, no, Ileana, oh, just uh, choose another participant so that the participant can read the conversation, please. Uh, okay, uh, Mayra. Okay, Mayra. Here. Okay, Mayra, please just read. I just want to notice about your pronunciation. Okay. In this conversation, two people talking about a different place in the neighborhood. Jack, excuse me, in your new, I am your new neighbor. Jack, I just moved. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pink Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I see there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center, too. A barber shop? Fantastic, excellent. I mean, the, the, you, you pronounce the majority of the expression in the right way, but what am I doing this activity, people? It's because, like for example, I will use, I will use a chat again. Look at the chat. How do you read those those words, people? The first one? Sim. Sim. The, the second Sim. one? Uh, give, me one give, give me one second, please. Give me one second. Okay, now once again, the first one? Sim. 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 No, the first one? Sim. Sim. The second one? Sim. 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 Uh, the third one? Them. them the fourth thing sing and the last one sing sing creen ustedes que se parecen un poco estas palabras en la pronunciación yes ah, a little song. a little okay a little bit okay como estamos haciendo un repaso que que igual les va a servir en los otros niveles give me one second Cuando ustedes vean que hay ejercicios como este, asegúrense 
de aprenderse bien la conversación, o sea, de aprenderse bien la, la pronunciación. Eh, quiero ver dónde está el verbo. Ah, aquí está. Vale, eso solo, solo es un ejemplo, ¿verdad? De pronunciación. ¿Ok? Y coloqué es, esas palabras en el chat para que ustedes vean que hay muchas palabras que se parecen. Ok, y si las pronunciamos mal, vamos a decir otra cosa. Ok, sin, think, think, especially with the verb think, think. think. Si ustedes escuchan, think. Ese, ese, ese sonido no lo tenemos en español. Think, think, no está. Entonces, hay que, hay que aprendérselo, el sonido. El, the tongue, your tongue. Put your tongue uh, between your teeth. Ponen la lengua entre los dientes de arriba y abajo. Think. Como que si se le fueran Think. a morder la puntita de la lengua. Think. 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 Ok. Si no se han aprendido ese sonido, apréndanselo. Ándenlo pronunciando aunque sea... Uh, ustedes solitos, think, 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 porque tenemos que acostumbrarnos. Ok, sin, think, them, sing, and think. Now, it's, it's kind of difficult, right? But, you know, every single word means uh, or has a different meaning. Ok, and that's my point, people. That is my point. When having these activities, What you have to do is like to go and search for every single, I mean, if you have some, some doubts, I mean, if you don't know, for example, about the pronunciation of the word, they say, is that neighbor or neighbor? neighbor. So if you have problems with it, so you go and investigate the word, okay? So now I will stop with, I mean, I will, I will continue with the next part. Because this is just for you to remember about importance of pronunciation. If you if you noticed, if you noticed, sorry, at the beginning of the class we started with pronunciation also, but pronunciation about the la, uh, I mean the past form of regular and, and, and I mean of regular verbs. And over here we continue with it. Now, how do you pronounce this verb? Moved. Okay, moved in, in. Okay, that's it. So you see, we continue yes. having like different different verbs. I mean, we're gonna we're going to encounter a lot of verbs during the course because we have a lot of verbs in English. Okay. Now I think there's no more info here. It's only the conversation. We're gonna go over the next. Uh... We're gonna go over the next video, okay? So that we can have like some more information or like some review. Okay, and I need somebody else to provide information about this. Okay. Now, who was the last person who participated? Can I do it? Yeah, please go ahead. Okay. <clears throat> uh, there is, there are, one, any, some. Is there a laundromat near here yes there is there's one across from the shopping center no there isn't but there's one next to the library are there any grocery stores around here yes there are there are some nice stores on pine street no there aren't but 
there are some on third avenue no there aren't any around here prepositions on next to near close to across from opposite type, in front of in back of be behind between on the corner of thank you very much okay now is there anybody else who wants to provide further info or maybe like to clarify the way david okay teacher there is there are one any some is there a laundromat near here yes there is there's one across from the shopping center no there isn't but there's one next to the library are there any grocery stores around here yes there are there are some nice stores on pine street no there aren't but there are some on third avenue no there aren't any around here prepositions on next to near close to across from opposite in front of in back of behind between on the corner of okay now uh, can somebody tell me when can we use this expression or this structure there is or there are There is, there is singular. There is, it's used with singular noun. Like the, the shopping center is, they are talking about only one shopping center, right? That's why they are using there is one across from the shopping center. Oh no, they are talking about the laundromat, right? And they say there is one across, right? It's because it's a countable noun and it is in a singular form. Okay, what else can you tell me about this info? And there are, and we use um, the thing as singular or places. Okay, very good. What, what did you learn? Uh, what did you learn to do with this with this structure? ¿Quién se acuerda de las tareas que les dejé? ¿Qué aprendimos con esa estructura? What did we learn? Uh, use quantifiers, uh, count noun and noun count noun. Okay. And I, I I remember we were discussing about our neighborhood, right? I give directions. Ah, to ask for or give directions. Okay, that was like the main goal for this activity. Okay, so I think there's no any problem with this, right? So I hear the uh, about the pronunciation of this word behind, behind, both are correct, okay? Behind, behind. You can, you can do it like that, okay? So I think it's enough with this. There is no, we don't have a lot of problem. But I'm actually, I didn't notice you have any problem with it. So that's why I decide to move on. Okay, now this is another conversation and I, I need to, to check the way you have a uh, practice this conversation by your own. And I will choose the participant. Let me see. Francisco. Okay. Um, uh, Just give we... me one second, please, Francisco. Now, yes. Okay, um, I'm ready. 
please. Okay, it is, it's pretty safe. Um, how do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown, so it is very convenient. Downtown, is there much noise? Oh no, there isn't any. I live on the 50 floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot of, in fact, there is an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there are there are no many parking garage, but I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? No, it is pretty safe. How long? That's my car alarm. I will call you. I will call you back later. Okay, notice about notice about the expression I, I have just underlined. Okay, Francisco, you are gonna listen to the to the conversation and then you are going to read only the expressions I have just uh, highlighted over here. Okay. Okay, Francisco. Uh... I don't know. Uh, I'll repeat, please. I'm, I'm uh, the same. What you okay. Say. I, I will play the the video so that you can listen to the conversation. But you will focus. You will focus your your mind into the expressions I have highlighted. Okay, like this one, like this one, like this one, like this one, like this one. And at the end, you are going to pronounce these expressions. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay, now let us try. Let me know if you listen to, to it. Please. How they answer them. Remember? Do you listen? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yeah, okay. So now everybody, please. This is for everybody. It's not only for, for Paco or Francisco. It's for everybody. Remember, we are just uh, trying to see like, like some, some expressions, right? That we need to make sure to pronounce them in the in the right way. Count nouns and non-count nouns make the difference. How do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient downtown is there much noise oh no there isn't any how they answer them remember count nouns and non-count nouns make the difference how okay. do you like your new apartment i love it it's downtown so it's very convenient downtown is there much noise oh no there isn't any i live on the fifth floor how many restaurants are there near your place a lot in fact, there's an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there aren't many parking garages, but I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? No, it's pretty safe. Hold on. That's my car alarm. I'll call you back later. How they answer them. All right. Now, I, I, I'm sorry, but I, I mean, over here I highlighted the words or the expression um in a different positions okay but I, I i don't know if you could notice about the position of this part francisco uh, the, only this yeah only this this uh, sentence please okay i love it it is it is downtown so it's very convenient Okay, I think it's quite good. Okay, so if you say it is, look at the chat, please. It is, okay, so grammatically it's all right, but in, in the conversation, the lady pronounced it in the contractive form. What, what I mean, it, it's quite good to, to put into practice everything, right? So it is, if it is in the contractive form, let us pronounce it in the contractive form so, so that we can 
practice it in that way. It's, it's, it's because, what am I telling you this? Because you, you may say like, is, is downtown or it's downtown? It's, it's. it's. Okay, so let us try to make emphasis on that, right? Remember that we are learning standard English, right? And what do I mean by saying standard English? Well, you know, we have different accents. Maybe where, where Paco uh, lives now, people have a, a specific accent, right? Okay, but English in general uh, can, can, I mean, has to be understood everywhere. Okay, if you go to friends, so people will understand your English. If you go to China and you talk to people in English, they're, well, they should understand your English. If you go to the United States, it's the same story. Okay, and what, did, what is the way you listen to the pronunciation of this word? Garage. Garage. Uh, garages. Garage or garages? Garages. Yeah, that's in plural, right? That's uh, that's why uh, I highlight it, right? So you need to make emphasis if the word or if it's the noun is in, in plural form, okay, try to pronounce it that way. Now, what about this one? Much. Much. Ah. Much. Much grand. Much. Okay, now. Look at the chat. If you if you say much, okay, I will I will include another another word, right? So that you get my idea. You say smash or much. What is the difference at the end of each uh, uh, form? Ah, and also we have much, that's right. So much, smash. So there's a slight difference, right? So if you say mush, mush, or much. Much, much. Okay. So you see, those are very, very basic expressions, right? That you have to pronounce them in the right way. Okay, much, mush smash so sounds are different hold on and what is the contracted form uh, i mean what how do you pronounce this part are you oh. i'll call you back later oh. i'll so you can say i will right it's because it's the same structure right so but let, let us let us practice uh in the contracted form also right so conversation let us move on to the next part. You know, time is running. Okay, we will see this part, okay? Hello to all of you. Buyers, how many and how much? Okay, I think we're not going to have enough time to see all of the videos, but I know that you have been uh, having the review at home, right? So we have countable, non-countable nouns, and we have the expressions over there. Okay, what are quantifiers, people? What, what did you get from this part? I will choose somebody. Glendy, could you please start with the information in this video? Okay, uh, quantifiers, how many and how much? Count nouns, are there many restaurants? 
Yes, there are a lot. Yes, there are a few. No, they aren't many. No, there aren't any. No, there are none. How many restaurants are there? There are 10 or 12. None can now nouns. Is there much crime? Crime? Yes, there is a lot. Yes, there's a little. No, there isn't much. No, there isn't any. No, there is none. How much crime is there? There's a lot of a street, a street crime. Okay, thank you. Now, what else can you tell me about quantifiers, people? Because you know, the quantifiers are a lot, a few, many, any, or none, right? And then on the other hand, we have some other quantifiers. Some are the same, but there are some, there's a, I mean, there are some that are, re, uh, are different, right? Because of the non-countable noun. A lot, a little, much, any, or none. We use them to express like an amount mm -hmm. of something. Mm -hmm. So, but I mean, a lot, for example, can be used with both countable and non countable. A, no, a lot is just for count nouns. Really? Not, the a lot for count Air and count. non count nouns. Yeah, you know, that's why I want you to have the review on this, right? So you have to be sure. A lot is used with both, right? Countable and non-countable. We have restaurants, that's countable, and we have crime, that is uncountable or non-countable, right? There are a lot of restaurants. There is a lot of crime, a lot of crime, all right? What about the next one, hey, Ileana? A, a few is just for count nouns. Exactly. And you, we use a little. It's like the equivalent to a few, but for non count nouns. Okay. A many is for count nouns, and for uncountable nouns, we use much. Also, we have any, and uh, which is for both, but uh, I'm not sure, but we use it just in negative form. Any? Uh, and any question, I think? Yeah, and, and questions also. Negative and in questions. Yeah, and the last one is none, and we use it for both count and non-count nouns. Good, good. Okay, so try to memorize that, people, okay? The ones that we use with countable and with non-countable. Okay, I think this is the most significant part of the video. Okay, so we had the review about it. And we're going to move on because we are, well, actually, I think we only have like five minutes more to see the last. Video. I know you will continue doing so, okay? And I will let you know the way you should study this info, okay? Because as you can see, it, the, the videos present like uh, the topic in a way, but you can go and search the net and look for the same information and, and for sure you are going to encounter extra information, extra examples, right? So in that way, you are going to learn more expressions, more vocabulary by talking about the same topic. Well, this is the last part, right? Let me see. Ah, uh, then, we, then we talked about appearance, right? That's what that was, we were talking about it. Let me see, we choose. This is kind of long and we don't have time. 
Well, just to finish, can somebody read the, the, the vocabulary we have here? Me? Please. Okay. Um, higher. Long brown hair. Short blonde hair. Straight black hair. Curly red hair. Bald. A mustache and beard. 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 A mustache and A beard. Mustache and beard. Como, suena como cerveza. Beard. 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 And beard. 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 Uh -huh. Okay. Age. John. Young. John. John. Uh, John. Young. Mid John. Middle age. Middle age. Middle, middle age. Elderly. Elderly. Uh, looks. Handsome, 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 good looking, pretty, pretty, uh, high and uh, short, height, high, short, short, fairly, medium, pretty, uh, very tall. Okay, now listen, people, I have noticed about uh, about the importance of. Okay, Jonathan is like getting the words that are that, that are pronounced very similar, and that's important. Okay, now let's do something. Meanwhile, I check the list of things that I will I will assign a homework for Monday. Eh, he notado, chicos, que es necesario que, que pongamos como a practicar más, eh, y lo vamos a hacer aprendiéndonos un tongue twister. ¿Saben qué es un tongue twister, verdad? Trabalengua. Un trabalengua, ¿ok? Se van a aprender uno o dos para el día lunes, ¿ok? Un tongue twist. Solo esa va a ser la tarea. Pero, eh, ¿de qué se trata? Primero quiero que agarren el hábito de estar repitiendo las palabras, ¿verdad? Las palabras nuevas que encuentren. Además de eso, quiero que investiguen bien la pronunciación de las palabras. ¿Ok? Porque la idea es, bueno, este, agarrar el hábito de, si me encuentro una palabra nueva, quizás la investigo, lo que significa, cómo se pronuncia, la a lo mejor la escribo, la pego por ahí en el cuartito y la estoy pronunciando cada vez que la veo. De esa manera, eh, vamos a ir internalizando como la pronunciación de las palabras. ¿Ok? Entonces, un tongue twister. Vamos a hacer algo. Mientras yo paso a la lista, ustedes buscan el, el, el tongue twister for Monday. Me lo van a leer antes de que terminemos la sesión de este día. Look for, for your tongue twister. El lunes lo deben de decir muy, muy rápido, ¿ok? Para, por eso es el tongue twister. Rápido y bien pronunciado. Ok. Adriana Gretel. Here. Andrés Meralda. Andrea. Claudia Jocelyn. Teacher, okay. Ahora estoy. Uh, uh, Andrea. Yes. Ok, Andrea. Eh, Claudia Jocelyn. David Alonso. Present. Francisco Alexander. Present. Gabriela Guadalupe. Glendy. Present. Ileana. I'm here. Hiroki. Hey, I didn't see Hiroki tonight in the class. 
Jennifer Raquel. Present. Jonathan. I saw Jonathan. Present. Okay. Present. Sorry. Josue Miguel. Here. Okay. Kala Tatiana. Carla Tatiana. Catherine Jasmine. Present. Luisa Ariana. Present. Mayra Patricia. Present. Nerling. I saw Nerling. And Jancy Jamilet. Nerling got connect, connected at the beginning of the class and I don't see him now. Okay. Now I think you have enough time and just let me know about the tongue twister you will memorize and that you will learn the Baha. Francisco, did you get yours? Trouble uh, uh, twister. Yeah, the tongue twister. I remember I, I memorized one and I was just sharing the tongue twister with the, with the other group. And then it says, I wish to wish that we should wish to wish, but if the wish to wish to wish is the wish of a witch, I don't want to wish to wish to wish to wish. That's it. I remember that when I memorized that tongue twister, I was like pronouncing the words uh, very frequently and I and I tried to do my best. Okay. That was when I was a student. And, and I still remember about the tongue twister. You see? Okay, Francisco, what's the one that you got? Uh, okay, I got a one that has uh, uh, say how much wool wool a uh, wool chop. Chuk is a wool chuk, wool chuk, wool. <laughs> okay, what's the homework for two, for Monday, uh, Francisco? What? What is the homework for Monday? Learning to uh, to uh, to uh, homework twister. Yeah, you have to memorize it, right? Uh, Pero aquí viene lo importante. Chicos, aquí viene lo importante. Si usted se lo memoriza mal, se va a memorizar las palabras mal pronunciadas. O sea, ahí está la clave que quiero que comprendan. Si nos vamos a aprender algo, ok, aprendámoslo bien. Ok. Si, por ejemplo, este, la palabra es much y yo digo much, entonces hay que corregirlo. Ok, much, much. ¿Se escucha igual? No, right? No. So, ok, so, that's the homework, ok. Esa es la tarea, que, que nos aseguremos que lo estamos diciendo perfectamente y fluidamente, porque quiero que lo digamos rápido. Ok, ese es un ejercicio. Les sugiero que sea, si, se van a, si, van, si encuentran cortos, este, tongue twisters, cortos que se aprendan dos o tres, ¿ok? Para que su, su práctica sea más significativa. Cuerpo Luisa. Eh, Luisa. 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 Can you can a can as a can or can can a can? Can. Can. Okay. <laughs> uh, is that short or is it long? ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo consideran ese tongue twister? ¿Cortito o largo? Short. 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 So then you should look for like two or three more. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, that will be meaningful, especially when you get some more vocabulary. Catherine, what did you get? I'm sorry, teacher, no lo tengo. Not yet, I'll continue looking for it, okay? Ah, ya sé por qué. Usted está buscando uno larguísimo. Me... Es la felicito, okay. La felicito. <laughs> Jonathan, you. Jonathan, what about you? <laughs> es que ella solo, solo cortitos encuentra, Catherine. Y ella está 
Uno largo. So, muy bien, Catherine. Congrats. Jonathan, what about you? What's okay. the one you got? It's about cookies. How many cookies could a good cook cook if a good cook 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 cookies a good cook 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 as much cookies as a good cook who cook cook cookies? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> okay. So I think that that is with the third person singular, right? Who cooks, right? You gotta be careful with it, okay? So when it said who cooks, cuando, cuando, cuando usa tercera persona, entonces el ejercicio va a ser de, de pronunciar ese sonido. Todos los sonidos importan, okay? Todos. Ileana, did you get some others? Uh, yes, teacher. I found one. It says, Betty bought butter, but the butter was bitter. So Betty bought better butter to make the bitter butter better. <laughs> okay. So the homework is for you to memorize it and say it uh, very quickly on Monday. Okay. Quite good. Adriana. Mm, is, I am talking about the weather. Um, weather. The weather be fine or whether the weather be not better, the weather be cold or the weather, the weather be not, we will we, weather, uh, weather, <laughs> uh, whether we like it or not. We will, we will like it or not. All right, very good, Ariana. So you see? Yo creo que sí va a surtir efecto este, este, los tongue twisters porque ya cuando van intermedio les van a exigir los otros teachers que, que su fluidez sea como un poquito más, que sea un poquito más rápido, ¿verdad? Si ustedes se recuerdan en básico, comenzamos con I am eh, Enrique. I am a teacher. Okay, eso es básico. Ahora ya nos movimos a pre-intermedio, ya intermedio va, ya necesitamos que la, la fluidez empiece a, a hacer un poquito más rápido, ya imagínense en avanzado, ya ustedes lo van a hablar muy, muy natural. David, what did you get? You're joining, you're, you're sleeping tonight. Be <laughs> okay, careful, I, got, I told you to get some coffee, right? I got two short from Switzerland, right. and the first one, the first one says, uh, Sally sing silly songs. <laughs> Sally sing silly songs. But that is pretty short. Okay. And the second is uh, red roses for Ruby, red rubies for Rosie. Okay, so you need to get like two more and then you will be done, buddy. <laughs> okay. No problem. Okay. okay. So, hey, well, people, on Monday, we're going to listen to everybody over here. Okay. So, just for now, I think. Uh, we're going to stop over here, and I hope you have a great weekend, okay? Take it easy, just, you know, por eso no les estoy dejando mucha tarea, porque ya la otra semana va a ser la última y tienen que prepararse con el, el, el último, la última evaluación, okay? Así que, pues, tenemos trabajo todavía que hacer, y, pero de momento solo les dejo eso, que okay? practiquen mucho, mucho Teacher. pronunciación. Ileana. Es una consulta nada más con el audio, porque se nos están mandando mensajes que completemos la lección 4 y no podemos por el, por el audio, ¿verdad? Miren, sí, se me olvidó, la verdad, lo, lo pasé por alto, yo les dije que se los iba a compartir. Vamos a hacer una cosa, regálenme que unos tres minutos, solo para que veamos las respuestas, para que no les vaya a afectar en su... Porque si no lo encontré, chicos... O sea, yo traté de, de, de conseguirlo y pues yo me recuerdo que un grupo tuvo el mismo problema y ellos lo encontraron, pero no, no me recuerdo dónde. Entonces, denme un segundo, vamos a ver la respuesta. Vale, ¿se recuerdan cuál era? 4.8. El 4.8. Es acá. Listening. 
All right, they are talking about physical appearance, right? And all that stuff. So, you know, <clears throat> since we don't have enough time, <clears throat> I will show the answer so that you can see and we're gonna read, okay? So the first one is, I think Brian's good looking. Good looking. Okay, pueden tomar captura de pantalla, tomarle foto, lo que ustedes quieran. Now, he is pretty tall. He's pretty tall. Number three, he has that brown hair and mustache. And a mustache. He's about 30. Tina's 18. She got Red, red hair. Red hair. She has shoulder length hair and very curly. curly. And she always wears interesting glasses just for fun. Rosie is pretty tall. Pretty tall. Uh, Rosie is pretty tall. Okay. And she has. Long blonde, blonde hair. Hair. Long, blonde hair. Long blonde hair. Hi. Tim's about 23. He's fairly short. He's fairly short. And a bit heavy. 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 His hair is, uh, isn't very uh, long. Number five, Alice is. Very tall. And she's got long black hair. She's around 25. Oh, and she's very slim. Slim. She looks like a fashion model. Okay, so these are the answers. No sé si, si se quedaron en alguna parte. O necesitan que, le, que, le, que la veamos de nuevo. Okay, first one, good looking. Second one, pretty tall. Third one, third one, mustache. Okay, second part, red hair. Uh, her hair and uh, very curly. Pretty tall in the third part. A long blonde hair. Fairly short. This is in the, last, in the fourth part. Heavy, a bit heavy, very tall, and slim is the last one. Okay, are you done, people? Yes, I do. Yes, I got it. Yes, teacher, thank you. Okay, so let us see you on Monday. God bless you and have a great weekend people thank you thank you bye teacher good night good night, good night teacher everybody. good, good night. night everybody bye. see you good night. see you monday